at kanha shantivanam we have more than uh, 60 gomatas uh, sometimes we get lot of uh, extra milk uh, there should be ways to manage this uh, extra a2 uh, cow milk which is very precious so there are many ways we do it we do here uh, bilona ghee apart from bilona ghee uh, we do this uh, uh, cheeses in cheeses there are very uh, lot of varieties are there in cheeses uh, broadly you can classify them as you know fresh cheeses and uh, uh, hard cheeses so in case of fresh cheeses the shelf life is uh, relatively less so it should be consumed within a week or two weeks whereas uh, hard cheeses you know you can keep it for years in your refrigerator and uh, you can use it whenever it is needed so in uh, especially in europe uh, in the olden days uh, for them to store the uh, value of the milk uh, over a period of you know uh, entire year uh, they were uh, they started de making these uh, cheeses in, in their olden traditions uh, because uh, for them uh, grass will not grow entire year grass grows for them only in a particular season remaining time the entire earth will be covered with snow so somehow they have to um, preserve this and uh, preserve this milk in a certain way so that it can be consumed in the later part of the year for them it is cheese so uh, and in our uh, tradition of this meditation practices uh, more than 120 countries people come from more than 120 countries generally they like cheese a lot so we want to make sure that they feel homely here so in our uh, uh, goshala uh, apart from making our traditional indian ghee we started making you know various cheeses we are doing it from past uh, four years so generally people think that you know making ghee is very complicated thing uh, but it is uh, similar to our uh, paneer. So all of us at home, uh, in all houses in India, pretty much everywhere, they simply make uh, paneer. There are many cheeses as simple as making uh, paneer. So even in our uh, villages, uh, which are uh, near to uh, big cities, farmers can utilize this you know, mechanism where uh, they can convert their very valuable and expensive milk uh, instead of selling it for uh, you know peanuts, uh, definitely they can make this value addition. And there are a lot of uh, uh, NGOs who want to support uh, our farmers and they would like to take this uh, to the a premium restaurants where uh, a restaurants will get a fresh cheese instead of importing all the, all the way from uh, different countries. Restaurants will get uh, nearby you know uh, made locally made, uh, cheeses as well as farmers will uh, get uh, very good benefit because they get fetch you know uh, very good prices so these are uh, these are the cheeses which are fresh cheeses uh, they are made in a shape of the blocks so that it is very easy to cut and you know spread on the uh, on the uh, bread so whereas this this can be grated uh, onto the pizza or on the sandwiches and uh, different ways they can use these uh, hard cheeses uh, making hard cheeses is a little bit uh, uh, um, a little bit uh, time taking because it needs to be matured for uh, at least you know three months you need to have a sp uh, specific temperature and humidity where they will mature much better way so uh, our farmers to start definitely they'll start with fresh cheeses uh, connect with you know local major restaurants and they can supply it uh, uh, and storing is also very easy nowadays everybody is having the refrigerators at home even the small farmers are having refrigerators at home they can easily store it in the refrigerator and uh, uh, sell this and get a very good prices for their valuable milk